Toby, thank you. This is even more migrants are being taken to shelters across the city. Mayor Oscar Leeser in the Office of Emergency Management giving an update today on the situation at the border as well as those shelters. KTSM 9 News reporter Skylar Soto is live in central El Paso, which is where one of those shelters is located. And uh, Skylar, what exactly did city leaders have to say? Well, Andy, Title 42 has come and gone. The borders were closed yesterday and they are still closed today. Now, Mayor Oscar Eliezer did address that many migrants were under the impression that if they came before Title 42 expired, that they would be able to stay in the U.S., but that wasn't the case. We'll continue to make sure that everybody's treated in, with respect and we'll continue to make sure that our asylum seekers and also the city of El Paso continues to be our priorities. The city of El Paso saw 1,800 migrants come into the El Paso area on May 11th, the day Title 42 expired. Border Patrol helping asylum seekers fill out paperwork and help them go through the legal process of immigration as it now takes two to three times longer. As you saw the law kind of changed a little bit yesterday and saying that they have to, you know, have their court date set up prior to being released by Customs and Border Patrol. So that's going to slow them down a little bit but we are prepared and ready to assist them as they decompress their system. We'll continue to help them. City leaders say they will continue to help those migrants get to their destination once they are released. We have opened up our two shelters, but one of them right now is in operation, and we have about 150 um, asylum seekers that have been put in there. They, um, they are families only, and uh, single males and single females have gone to uh, hotels. Mayor Leeser says they are working hard to make sure there is no street releases by providing transportation and shelter. We have plenty of funding at this point in time to continue forward and it, that's not really our primary concern at this time. We're just trying to be as judicious as we can to make sure we have those fundings to last us into the coming weeks of operations. One thing we, we are committed to is making sure that we spend every penny wisely to make sure it lasts because we know that the immigration process is broken. We know it needs to be fixed, and we know there's not a short-term answer right now. Mayor Lisa says they are still preparing for the unknown of what's to come now that Title 42 has ended. But with being proactive, Lisa says that the city has had a smooth transition since Title 42 has expired. Now, the city doesn't know how many migrants will be released back into the El Paso streets or what their processing time will take. I'm live in central El Paso. I'm Skylar Solto, KTSM 9 News.